This is Sean Sport in podcast form. Well, we were hoping the Socceroos wouldn't have been able to get run over so easily in the second half. We might have been able to keep it close. Perhaps the draw would have been a great result uh, for Australia in this one against France, but it wasn't to be. Robbie Slater, of course, being a former Socceroo and absolute champion of Australian sport, joins us now. Robbie, what was you thinking? Uh, I was depressed by the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> but right at the start, that was a bit of fun, wasn't it, Robbie? <laughs> and they gave us such hope early on. But, um, yeah, look, guys and girls, um, (laughs) we were just beaten by a far better side. That's why they're the world champions. Mm. And you can look at it whichever way you want. It's it's actually not very complicated. Um, Yes, you can pick out whether the coach got it right tactically, whether the selections were right, whether the substitutions were right. But when you look at France and you think that they're down at minimum four world-class players in Kimbembe, in uh, Conte, in Pogba, and Benzema, yeah. they have world-class re- replacements. And then not only that, they bring they bring players off the bench in the second half to play for Bayern Munich and Barcelona. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we've got players that play for Central Coast Mariners. <laughs> <laughs> it's like bringing a knife oh. to a gunfight, is it? <laughs> I feel sorry like for the Central Coast the reality, Mariners now. <laughs> But oh, yeah, no, no, we love the Mariners. We yes, do. we do. Well, Robbie, I made a point with Sean earlier. Like seventeen odd players from the Socceroos were. It was their first sort of go yeah. on the world stage. So I mean, the pressure that they would have felt would have been immense, especially their first match up against the world champs, as you said, which is France. Yeah, and look, the, the, the bonus for, for Australia is that they're still in it because the other two teams, Denmark drew with Tunisia. Mm. If Denmark had a one you would have been really concerned. And we're still really concerned. Mm. Um, But up against France, they just showed why they're the world champions. Mbappe showed why he is quite possibly the best player. Well, not possibly. He is, in my opinion, the best player in the world at the moment. And, you know, they just had a team of superstars that, 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 that played really well. Like when you, when you want to, when you get an upset, when you want to upset, uh, a team like this, you need two things. You need a bit yep. of luck yep. and you need the team to be off. Yep. Now, Saudi Arabia got that yeah. with Argentina. Argentina were not at the races and Saudi Arabia took you know, took full advantage and pulled off an ama- amazing win, which they actually deserved. Was yeah, no they did. Mm. At the Wasari scored a wonderful oh. um, second goal and what a result for them. But for us, we come up against the world champion team in world champion form. They weren't off their game. Oh, they were well on it. Funny they were off. You know what I mean? Yeah. And what are the... What are the, hey, uh, what are the listen, yeah, what? Uh, if only they were off like an off French cheese. They got a lot <laughs> of off French cheese. And on French <laughs> cheese. <laughs> um, what, uh, and I know because I lived there for five years. <laughs> <laughs> and it's fromage, by the way. Really? Fromage. Uh, <laughs> fromage, we. Oui. Are the French... Are they are they nice winners or are they, are they those smug French winners? What are they? Well, but the Francais sont très arrogants. Côté, côté gain, ils sont comme ça. Et pour les Australiens, ils sont un peu comme le fromage. There you go. I heard a word might have been arrogant in there. Was there an arrogant word in there? When, yeah, there was an arrogant word in there, and it was uh, the, the French, you know, have made a history of being arrogant. So, mm. Oh, my God. The only thing I know, know is, no, Monsieur, not knows that PTM is iron calcium and iron protein. <laughs> That's a pity me, I'm uh, That's my Oh, French. I love it. But, um, look, you know, we're still in it, um, but we did, uh, learn, we got a big lesson in, in, uh, in football this morning from a very, very good side that, yeah, they're one of the favourites. Not Brazil are the favourite, uh, but yeah, you know, France are right up there as well. Mm. And you know, they could go back to back. The last three World Cup winners, yes, have not got out of the group stage. I think that little curse is going to be put to bed here with Tunisia, Denmark drawing. I think France are, are already eschewing to qualify for the next round, particularly when goal difference will count. Do you think looking forward, though, Robbie, past this World Cup, that we've got a chance? Um, there doesn't seem to be the names we've had. We've talked about the golden generation for you know a long time. With, uh, yes. with that, with well, the those, golden generation yeah. is over. You know, it's, it's well over a decade ago. Yeah, so have we fallen short somewhere? Yeah, we have. Yeah. I was just having this conversation, actually, before you guys run. We don't have the time to discuss it. But the development in this country mm. has gone literally pear-shaped. 
um, and it has done. We have not produced players. We haven't produced players for over a decade because we've got it wrong from the, the system we have in place at the moment, from too much structure, too much training of young, young children, taking the fun out of the game, yeah, playing wow. 12 months a year. And it's, like I said, we could go into all, but we just don't have the time. But that's when you look at it as big business, don't you? Instead of looking at it as like, you know, uh, grassroots and getting kids involved, looking at a big business and what yeah. the possibility or, or is. Or that's long, when it, or long term, yeah. long term well, view of it. But yeah. kids, uh, when I grew up and the golden generation is the same, yeah. we're all born in the old NSL. Yeah. Yes, Most you were. Most players yeah. all played in the NSL. And you know what we did as kids? We yeah. played all our, like all Aussies do, we were encouraged to play other sports. Yep. Now kids are told they're not allowed to play other sports. I'm mm. sorry, it's un-Australian. Yep. Wow. And, and I'm uh, pretty sure that TikTok's got something to do with it. Oh, uh, there's no doubt that bloody TikTok. <laughs> no, I've got an eight-year-old and she, she just, she's just TikToked. That's all. That's all. No other way of communicating. <laughs> That's taking up too much of their time, Robbie, probably. <laughs> oh, the <laughs> TikTok. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, don't even well, get Give, it, give them a football, I say. Yeah, Swap exactly. the TikTok. Respect to TikTok. I'm sorry, but I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> no, we love it. <laughs> well, right. um, look, yep. you know, the, the thing is, that if you look at it, and I know we've got to go, but I said to someone earlier today, and I, if you look at the team today, and you go back to the team that took took place in Germany in 2006, even 2010 South Africa, there's not one player from this team that would maybe even make the bench of that squad. Oh, wow. And that's, how far down, that's how far down we've come. Well, Robbie, well, thanks very much for your insight. Really appreciate well, your time. Sorry, I've really given you an up. Oh, no, I, I, no, we had some great moments yeah. in there. You talked about from Ars, it was great. Yeah, sorry about it. TikTok. Yeah, listen, uh, apart from that, everything's going sweet. Everything's well. great. Yeah. Everything's great. Well, we'll be following the soccer is the next yeah. play Saturday against Tunisia. Plenty of other games to be watching. You'll be watching it all. And, um, Robbie, we know you're flat out, as I said before, but thank you so much for giving up your time to talk to us this morning. No worries, guys. Might speak to you next week again. Good all on right. you, mate. Love Bye, you. Robbie. Bye. Sean Sport in podcast form. Well, let's kick off with the World Cup, of course. Australian action this morning got underway at 3 a.m. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't get up until about, <laughs> I don't know, 3.45, I think, because I missed the first half of us, which we scored straight away, Craig Goodwin. So I was able to see that at the half time. But after that, it was pretty much one-way street yeah. with mm. um, the French getting on top of us, Trace. You're a big fan of the, watching the World Cup I, I stuff. I am, I am. I used to wake up in the middle of the night with Dad. Dad's a big, yeah, he would wake me up. That was the only time I could, like, get up at, what, 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. Yeah. Dad would wake me up, well, let's watch the soccer together, so or football together. So, no, it's lovely. But it, it's a shame. I mean, God, really. Socceroos against France. But, <laughs> I know. I know never, what, though, never had a chance. At least Come everyone on. on social media had that one moment where they go, "Wow! Yes, oh my god, this, this is <laughs> happening!" And no. it's like, "Well, it's not." No. Um, but that was great. <laughs> yeah, you're right because we scored in the ninth minute, and then we gave. The, the thing is, and and when you're watching a great team versus a team that are trying but they just don't have the skill mm. level, we gave them two really. Easy opportunities with basic skill errors. If you're watching any sport and you see someone miss a handball and he hits the ground, you go, oh, God, how did he do that? They're supposed to be professionals. Yep. That's kind of what happened with the Socceroos, Nath, before half time. Yeah. And um, the French were able to score pretty quickly. After half time, it was one way traffic. It was, it was like we sat up against the ropes in a, in a boxing mm. fight and then just waited them and punched us in the well, face. Wasn't it like 17 of them making their debut for, you know, in, on That's the true. world stage, really? So, I mean, 17 of who? Se- of, of the, the Socceroos. Team, of the soccer- Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> against yeah. France. <laughs> against that's like, France. That's like uh, being on the freeway and you're surrounded by old plates. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Oh, my God. They that's, probably that's got really so starstruck by playing against France. You know, they're like, oh, wow. <laughs> well, yeah, and but at the end of the day, you've got to keep You've got to keep attacking yes, all the time, absolutely. and it's one thing we didn't do. I was listening to Craig Foster after the game. He was covering some of the action for SBS, and this is what he had to say. And we come out in the second half and just, you know, and, and the, same, the pattern of the game was exactly the same. So at what point are we going to go up now, start to press them? You, you know, you obviously needed those fresh legs on the wings in particular, um, as you saw, which ultimately happened uh, with Kyol and, and Mobile. And all of a sudden, you're, then you're down 3-1, mm-hmm. and then you're down 4-1, and, you know, and really the game more. is over. Yeah. Can I just say, I love sports talk. Fresh legs on the wings. <laughs> <laughs> we 
you were really carved on the wing. <laughs> it really sounds, sounds like a great new special at KFC. Yeah. No, you're right. There was a guy called Atkins who was playing on our left wing was just getting carved up massively. Every yeah. time the French oh, went shame. down that side and it was Mbappe who was just getting past him um, and then whoever else would come in behind and it was just looking like they were going to score time and time again, and they eventually did. So mm-hmm. we're down and out at this stage. Yeah. Um, are you having a bet on at all during the World <laughs> Cup? You know what happens if I get involved. I know. I know. <laughs> T- whole teams die. Um, uh, uh, Trace? Yeah, well, because last night, obviously, Saudi Arabia, Argentina, biggest, oh, it was upset, biggest upset of the World Cup by far. I, I, don't, I don't even know if it'll happen again, like, as the, as the tournament goes on. Um, an Aussie bloke was so sure of Argentina, $160,000, <gasps> that he put the bet down to Argentina. But it wasn't paid. It was like $1.13. Oh, okay. So he was only so going to gain got... about $20,000 anyway if, if Argentina what won. Oh, that's that's the people Sorry. who like to wash their money a particular way that they go yes. down that way. I don't money laundering. Yeah, honey. <laughs> oh, just, yes. Yes. yes, yes, But you're going, well, we're not going to lose this because Argentina are always going to beat Saudi yes. Arabia, Nathan, on paper. But watching the game last night, Trace, first of all, I would just say the crowd mm. was going ballistic in the second were. half. <laughs> All the um, Arab, you know, the Arabs who were in following Saudi Arabia in in that stadium were gone. It, the noise was unbelievable. And secondly, getting back to the way Australia played against um, um, the French mm. this morning, Saudi Arabia were having shots. Mm. They were yeah. they were going. They were really attacking. they were really going for. It. They were really um, throwing the punches, so to speak. And um, it's something where you need to take a leaf out of their book. Yeah, there were a few moments where Argentina had an opportunity. I found towards the second half, uh, but they just totally missed it, even in overtime. So, mm. yeah, they unfortunate. Did. Well, in my analysis, we just need more fresh legs on the wings. Um, <laughs> one hundred sixty thousand dollars. I mean, like, I, I, sure, I couldn't. Like that is you don't for for that payout, you don't take that risk, do you? Well, I wouldn't. I, I wonder. Actually, I wonder. I, I make some people, bets, people do it. People do it. I mate. wonder what they do. I've seen it in the cricket so a few sh- times. Yes, they're so sure of it. Yep. Oh my god, that would give me big anxiety. money. Oh yes, uh, no. Well, too much. that just seems like a classic Sean McManus bet. So. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Was it you? Yeah. I normally have a bit more. Sean Sport is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.